So yesterday, jo Jordan rolled her ankle while hiking. And uh, since then, we've taken it easy around camp and we've been doing rest, ice, compression, and elevation on this injury. Today, because Jordan has been willing to use this injury and walk on the ankle, we're going to have her hike. And in order to have her hike, we're gonna take some weight out of her pack, we're gonna give her a supportive walking splint, but most importantly, we're gonna use some tape to create a support or an ankle tape job for her to be able to use this ankle without fear of injuring it again. As with all splints, it's important that we put her foot in the position of function. And for the ankle, that's the foot at 90 degrees compared to the lower leg. This is the position she's going to walk in. I'm going to use approximately one roll of tape for this particular tape job. So you might think that you, if you're going to tape somebody for multiple days, you're going to need a number of rolls of tape to accomplish this. The first thing I'm going to do is create a landmark for myself above which I don't need to tape. That landmark is going to be approximately two inches above her outer ankle bone or three finger widths, however you prefer to measure. The next thing I'm going to do is create some stirrups that are going to keep her foot well seated on her tibia. I can measure my stirrups with the sticky side of the tape outwards and then tear my tape. I'm going to target my first stirrup coming under the arch of her foot and across the top of her inside and her outside ankle bone. I'll do two more stirrups. I'll put one in front of my first stirrup and one behind my first stirrup. Okay, so we have three stirrups on Jordan's ankle that fan on either side of the ankle bone. I'm gonna take another piece of tape and re-anchor those so that they stay secure. The next thing I'm gonna do are create J's. The J is gonna start at the anchor on the uninjured side of her foot. It's gonna come under the arch of her foot cross the top of her foot and end right where it started. I call those a J, sometimes people call them teardrops. Again, I'm gonna do three of those each time, fanning them out. The next thing I'm gonna do are figure eights. And similarly, I'm gonna do three figure eights. And to make it simple, I'm gonna start in exactly the same place, on the uninjured side. I'm gonna come under the arch of the foot. I'm gonna come across the top of her foot and target her inside ankle bone. I'm gonna come behind the Achilles and target her outside ankle bone. I'm gonna come across the top of her foot and back underneath to the arch. So the figure eight is made by having a loop behind her Achilles and a loop under the arch of her foot that crosses right on the top of her foot. I could at this point rip my tape and start a new figure eight, or I can go continuous and keep going and add two more figure eights. Now I'm going to rip the tape, secure it under the arch of her foot. At this point, I want to evaluate my tape job to see whether there are any gaps in tape or any specific spots where she's going to complain of rubbing or friction. If I see any holes in my tape job, I can take a little bit of tape, cover up those bare spots of skin so they don't get rubbed inside her shoe or her boot. At this point, having put something circumferential around her foot, I can reassess her CSMs. Can you wiggle your toes for me? So she's got good motion. Which toe am I touching? Uh, pinky toe. Great.